Hey everyone, it's Brent the Middleman, your middle age middle manager in middle America, here today with an exciting announcement. The epic series From has been renewed for a second season. I have some details to share, and we'll be talking about what happened in season one, so here's your spoiler alert. With that out of the way, grab your favorite pack of crayons so we can draw out the story for season two. I guess I'm starting to make it on YouTube because I received an official announcement directly from Epix. The announcement reads, Premium Network Epix announced today that the contemporary sci-fi horror series From has been renewed for a 10-episode second season. In season two, hidden truths about the nature and terrifying origins of the town begin to emerge even as life for its residents is plunged into chaos by the arrival of mysterious newcomers. Production will commence this summer in Halifax, Nova Scotia, with an expected air date in 2023. This is definitely great news, as the show left us with quite a cliffhanger. Sheriff Boyd was stuck in a wall, or a chimney, or something, possibly the wall of the lighthouse, after he and Sarah were dragged through the forest by what was most likely a giant spider, based on all the Halloween decorations left behind. Sarah also went into the faraway tree that sent Boyd into the wall, but we have no idea where she will end up. They were led there by the little tennis player boy, who according to Crazy Victor, is a helpful monster. Speaking of Victor, we last saw him rescuing Tabitha after her hole collapsed into the cave system under the town where the monsters sleep. We saw some cave drawings that Victor said the monsters drew, which could possibly reveal some clues as to what's going on. I discussed these drawings in detail in my episode 10 breakdown. Jim tried to get into Tabitha's hole in time to save her, but he was too late after hearing a voice on the other end of his radio telling him that his wife shouldn't be digging. The rest of the town is about to get caught in a huge storm as night and the monsters move in. Oh, and I forgot the most terrifying moment of all, when Ellis proposed to Fatima. Ah, commitment, no! Some of the questions I'm hoping to get answered in Season 2 are, who was the voice on the other end of the radio? Was it Tom the bartender? He's the only other person in town who knew about Tabitha's hole. What is the story behind the town? Are they in another dimension, or on a spaceship, or a mysterious island, or in a snow globe? And is the whole thing a test or some experiment? Or is it all from Victor's imagination? Or is it aliens? Let me know what questions you are hoping to get answered in Season 2. Finally, the announcement says that the town is thrown into chaos by the arrival of mysterious strangers. So it sounds like there are more than just Christie's fiancé from Grand Rapids on that bus we saw arrive at the end of Season 1. Will it all be people from the survivors' lives? Were they out looking for them, or were they just brought there by the town? I'd be pretty pissed if I ended up in the town just because I happened to get on a bus in Grand Rapids with Christie's fiancé. I'd love to hear all your Season 2 theories and predictions in the comments, and I hope you are as excited as I am for Season 2. From was definitely a pleasant surprise, and I'm holding out hope that the creators know where the show is going, and they aren't just stacking up mysteries. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like, as it really helps out this middle-aged middle manager. I'll be back soon with more videos on From, The Boys Season 3, The Umbrella Academy Season 3, and more, so I hope to see you then. Once again, I'm Brent the Middleman, and I'll see you next time.